Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. As you can see, we're working on the 1987 CR125 again. So this is a rear brake pedal. I'm gonna try to use some steel wool to see if I can shine it up. Because it's kind of pretty dirty. And then since I don't want to buy a new rear brake guard, I'm gonna try and clean this up and shine it up. Stay tuned guys. Let me get started on the rear brake pedal. I'll get right back to you guys. I don't know if you guys can tell, but it kind of shined it up right where my finger's pointing. Compared to over here, it kind of shined it up. So let me get a little bit more done on it and show you guys. Guys, check out how shiny this is now. Dang, guys. So like maybe uh, in this video or the next video, we'll be putting the swing arm back on. Damn guys. So I'm done with that. So let's put this back in the box. Hold up guys. Also guys, as you can see, this is the mud flap. So you guys can barely see. But right here's a bolt. And right here's a bolt. I'm gonna take these bolts out since I have a new mud flap coming. So let's see if I can get it one handed. Oh yeah, I need an extension real quick, hold on. So I got the little extension, so let's get on to doing this bolt. So got that bolt out. As you can see, it's right here. Got the other bolt. Hold up, guys. So here's the mud flap. So as you can see, it's missing a chunk right here. This could have had an oversized tire when I bought it. So it just ate right through this. So I have a new one coming in the mail with the foot foot pegs from a guy that I bought them from. I'm probably gonna be making a list real soon of all the um, old parts I have that I don't need anymore. And probably post them up on my Instagram. But I'll keep you guys posted. So let's get on to cleaning that rear brake guard. I'm not sure I'm gonna do it, but I'll try my best. So let's see what this Gojo does. Let me put some of it in this, and then let me use that scrub brush, and let's scrub it out. Sorry if you guys can't really see it. It's really dark in this corner of the sink, so let's get into it. Hold up, one guy. Hold up, guys. As you guys can see, it's in that greedy mark because that's what's inside the soap. So let me see if I can shine it up a little bit more. Stay tuned, guys. Damn it, guys, I can't get down in there. The brush is too big. So let's see what it does when I wash it off. So hold up, guys. Wow, guys, I didn't realize how much that cleaned it up. Dang. So look at that. So hold up, guys, one second. So let me do an overview right now to keep you updated on what I've done so far to the bike. So what I've done so far is find the correct radiator shrouds. Since before that it had these ones, so hold up one second. It had these shrouds, I bought these shrouds because uh, when I bought the bike it had some white shrouds on it which were the wrong ones. So then I went out and ordered these ones because it said for a 1987, which when they came in the mail I realized they're, they're 1988 ones. 1988 and 1987 CR125 are basically the same, but they changed the color in 88. So, yeah, these are the old ones. Still trying to get rid of these. So let me know in the comments if you need them, or DM me on Instagram. And then, I went out, because it had bad decals on it. Went out, bought the new 125 sticker, and then the new HRC sticker. And then what we did was, then what I did was, Bought a new rod kit for the motor, new piston and rings, new reed valves, new main bearings and seals, 
new front sprocket, new fuel filter, uh, new air filter. Went out and put new stickers right here. Went out and put the graphics on both sides. And then went out and bought this little valve, uh, alum uh, built aluminum, I think, uh, cap thing. And then went out and put this on there. And then as we took, as it was down in the frame, like in the first video, like I said, we repainted the frame and subframe. And then we put on this clear tape stuff to protect the frame when my boots are rubbing on it. And then went out and bought these grips that I've had for a while. Pro Taper bars. And then when I got that built aluminum uh, oil filled cap because it had a plastic one there first. Wanted a new one. So that. And then went out and bought these grenade valve stem covers and rim locks for front and rear. And then went out and bought a rear tube. Still waiting on the tire to come in the mail. And then the swing arm bearings. And then before I started the build, I bought a new front tire and tube. So, yeah, all I have to do is a rear tire tube. Buy a sprocket and chain for that. And then I'll be buying new ignition coil and uh, clutch cover for the motor. So... Stay tuned, guys. Please like, share, and subscribe. Peace.